Sex in the fillet. Get out your feelings. Ooh, in a fucked up kind of world. I'm glad I got my girl. Hey y'all, I'm Meg. I'm Nay. And this is Sex in the Philly. <laughs> Everybody make sure y'all go subscribe to our show on YouTube. And we're going to be talking about basically the things that y'all don't want to talk about. I don't have the balls to talk about, but we're here to do that for you. So I- we're here. Our show is going to be about popular sex topics, um, sexual dislikes and likes, and um, a lot of popular stories that you guys don't want to talk about. That we talk about for you. Um. <laughs> well, it won't be all bad. I feel like it won't be all bad. Um, we will talk about your favorite sex position, right. the best places to have sex. Right, right. Um, gonna it's going to be real fun. Show. It's going to be real fun. <laughs> we will have guests come in. Yeah. We will have people come sit. Yes. Um, we're going to be talking about so much stuff. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff. So it's not just like a whole shit talking show. We talk about some good stuff too, but um, we gotta make it be known for the fuck niggas out here. So y'all not hot and no more. We found you. Um, I see a lot of black love on my timeline with my Instagram. I'm always following pages like that. Um, but I also know in reality. Uh, there's a lot of fuck shit going on. Mm-hmm. Nobody's relationship doors. is perfect. I don't know anybody with a perfect relationship. What's your relationship status right now? I'm single, ready to mingle. <laughs> oh. I'm single. All right, so what type of guys are you into? Hood niggas. Hood niggas. At this point, I'm pretty much just single, mingling out here, just enjoying my life. I don't really have time for anything else right now. What you got on your plate right now as far as your dating? Um, I have a lot of options, but I mean, I'm really trying to be picky with them because they ain't, they, some of them is just weird. The shit that they do is just turns me off and I'm just not really, I ain't for that right now. So you for the streets? I'm for the streets right now. <laughs> My future voice, I'm for the streets. Okay. She okay. for the streets. Okay. <laughs> I would classify myself as single um, because there's so many things that are going on right now. Catfishing. Well, my biggest turn off right now um, would be the lying. I'm yes. tired of niggas lying. Yes. Niggas lie too much. Lie about where y'all work at. Lie about what y'all do. It's the dumbest shit. Lie about how much money you got. Mm-hmm. Lie about taking somebody out the day before a lot about their kids yes um but the dumbest shit ever everything like, everything your, your sexual preference right like that's a big one <laughs> your sexual say preference. that you like dick too nigga right and i feel like social media just gave bitches the platform to just be like show all the good that you're doing you want to show all the fancy the nice stuff but what about you ain't saying about your nigga taking dick behind you know what I'm saying? <laughs> High closed doors. You ain't saying nothing about that. Or you paying for his lifestyle. Or you paying for his lifestyle. Or you paying for his whole lifestyle. Like, let's be him. real. Or you just, or you basically just the man and the female in a relationship. You gotta do both, so. And I mean, cooking, cleaning, taking out the trash, taking care of the kids. Fucking yourself. <laughs> Listen, everything. Stalking. Yeah, yeah. Stalking. <laughs> Uh, the girls getting shot and yes. killed. Like I'm, I'm listen. I'm chilling right now. So while I'm chilling, we making a um show about it. Right. All right. How it feels to be chilling. <laughs> like. I'm going to share a story. Um, the last time this is what made me stop dating and like just chill out for a bit. Cause I I recently got catfish. Right. I really got catfish. Like. The- <laughs> The guy, he was texting me like five months ago, um, you know, just like what you doing, right. you know, that, that we're going to meet up or right. we never meet up, right. whatever, whatever. Right. I send you a picture, you send me a picture. Right. The guy was cute, whatever. Mm-hmm. So then um, he tells me that his grandma dies. Mm-hmm. So like um, my grandma passed too. So I'm just like, you know, I, I, I fall back. I'm not sending out nothing. I'm not texting nothing. I don't know what to do. I get kind of weird. You know, I just thought that's why it just fizzled out. I never texted him back, whatever. 
Five months later, this nigga on my phone. He's texting me. I'm like, what? So since the last text, I don't think he remembered that he sent me his picture and the last thread. He must have deleted his thread, but I had my thread. I had my thread. I had my receipts. So when I pulled it up, um, and then I'm in a point where like I don't want to text anymore. I want to talk on the phone. So because I want people to be serious if you want to date me let's be serious i don't just want to text i'm i'm there i'm tired mm -hmm. he he texts me pulls up i'm like who is this he sends me a name the name is different than the name at the top of the thread so then um i call the number and nobody picks up he calls me back i didn't realize that was the number so then i hung up then i called that number back he answers so uh, we're talking, he's trying to play 21 questions. Um, we go back to the fact that the last text was that his grandma passed and then he goes into, Whoa. send me a pic. So I sent him a pic and so I'm like, send me your pic. Bitch. It's a whole different person. A whole different nigga. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish this was I'm a gavel done. because I would bang it. Order and a court. I'm done. <laughs> what am I going to do with you now? So that just goes to show you how thirsty these niggas be. Like, it's ridiculous. It's a mess. And then for all that, for what? Like, for what? Why do you have to, you actually stole somebody else's life? Like, you took all that As pictures. soon as the picture came through, it's like, these don't match. These don't add up. <laughs> Click. Sir, why would you ever? I, the, Stay tuned for the pictures at the end. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all would like to have thought that it was Santana. And it probably would have been a thing if it was Santana. But it's not Santana. So I can't I can't help y'all with it. I'm show y'all the two yeah. different guys. That's that show the need to reveal. That's the need to reveal. Can't wait. The wait till the end of the video. Reveal. It's fucked up. That, and that's I don't I, think I deserve that. I don't think you did either. I mean, neither. I, mean, I don't think you did either. And I'm single because... This niggas is just out of pocket. So I had a guy come over the other day. He spent the night or whatever. And he came over to my home. He, I guess he came because he got off of work. Um, so when he gets here, my bed, you know, we did our, I know, I've known him for a long time. It's not like I haven't, you know. So we did our little thing. We did have sex. You know, I'm going to keep it real. This is sex in the Philly. But after he got up off my bed, I noticed he left a present for me in my bed. <laughs> and the present was. Shit live. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, so wait, wait. He left the shit line on my bed. How? Um, I don't know. I guess it was maybe because when I was giving him a head, like he just his. I couldn't even think about like how am I getting a head in this doo doo down here? Yeah, like you. Know, I don't know. Maybe he like shorty or his muscles like loose. That I don't know, but I don't know. Wait. Hopefully, it was in the morning. And no, it was it. at night. <laughs> Oh my god. It was like somebody drew a straight line and it was brown. So it was just like, no. And then, like, I tried to, like, approach him about it. And he was, like, real, like, uh, stand off about it. Like, oh, are you sure? Like, oh, nigga, it wasn't me. Like, I didn't do it. So you had to do it. You was the only person here. Um, He's a bigger guy, by the way. So uh, shout out to all the big guys. You know, y'all be doing y'all things sometimes. But I hope y'all just not like that big guy. And y'all watch. Cause it's needed, <laughs> and that's, that's another reason why. That's I'm a turn off when you dirty, when you stink. <laughs> I need y'all to smell good. I need y'all to smell like cologne. Yeah. It's cologne. Yes. I mean, smell like bend me over, <laughs> sex on the beach, something. <laughs> Shit, nigga, smell like soap. <laughs> Duh. Fuck something. <laughs> this dingy shit. You can smell dinge, okay? Yes, you can't smell. I don't dinge. like that. I don't like that. That's a like turn off. It. it is just like, why would you ever think that you want? And if y'all want to lay down with somebody, and y'all just got off a hard ten-hour shift at work, wash your ass. I don't care if you got, if you uncomfortable to use day shower, or if you don't want to use day shower, go home and take a shower first, and then come over. Like one of the last niggas I used to fuck with he was a ball player he would come from the gym 
go take a shower. You yeah. would take a shower. Yeah, you would take a shower. Like, I don't know why. And now, now he takes. Now he takes showers. If he asks me, okay, I'm gonna take a shower. But that shit is out the window at this point. But other than that, no. Wash your asses. Bad. Yeah, all the cracks it's and crevices. Job. It's a definitely a bad joint. Like, well, when we had uh, first start dating out. Your butt ain't used to weigh him like that. But then was women, so like I'm just who <laughs> I really fucked with boy. Like I said, like shout out all the big guys. Like y'all bears be doing your thing, but <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see my catfish. You gonna see <laughs> Your feelings. Ooh, in a fucked up kind of world. I'm glad I got my girl.